G'day guys. Okay, I'm back with another episode of um, the Leonora dirt that Greg and Michelle kindly gave to me. And I've started sieving it out. So there's some of the material that's been sieved, all the oversize. And all the oversize I'll be crushing down and, and panning out. This is the fines. That's the fine material I've been sieving. I've still got all this to, to go yet. To sieve through. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm just going to do this one bag of material and um, yeah, pan it out, see how much gold we get. I've still got two more bags, big bags like that to do, but I'll just do the one bag today in this video. Okay, I'll get back to you guys. Okay, I've sieved it all out, guys. That's the oversize. It's all the oversize there. I'm gonna this oversize I'll put that through my crusher. Crush it down. That's all the fines. And I'll be panning this out right now. I'll just set this up. That's the rubbish truck you can hear in the background. Okay. Pan number one of this material that Greg and Michelle kindly gave to me. And um, as I said, this is from a patch of theirs where they found quite a few ounces of gold. Um, not so much in big nuggets, a lot of small nuggets. So there's a good chance that it'll be, there should be some fine gold in this material. We're hoping anyway. And as I said, I've still got three bags of this, ah, sorry, two more bags of this material to do. So, um, I'll do another, another video of doing another bag. Okay. Okay, guys. Let's see if we got any gold out of this, this pan. I think that's a piece of gold that's oh, in the shadow. Just here in front of my finger, that looks like a piece of gold. I'll have to have a look under my jeweler's loop, but that looks like a small piece of gold there. If it is, that'd be cool. Okay, I'll get back to you with another pan, guys. Okay, this is pan number three. And yes, there is gold in, in each pan. Um, not a lot, not a lot of specs, but the specs that are in there, you can see, I can see with the jeweler's loop, easy enough. That first pan I did with that piece of gold I pointed to, yeah, that was a piece of gold. That's the biggest piece I've seen so far. So, pan three, and we'll see what we get out of this one. And uh, that oversize, um, that might be interesting, because there's some pieces of quartz, and looks like schist-type rock, in that uh, in the oversize so that might hold some gold some fine gold that's all interesting stuff guys Okay, see if I can get a big piece out of this pan. 
to show you guys. There is, um, I can see a lot of sparkly stuff coming back, but that's all um, looks like mica. Nothing big in that lot, but back here in this in this darker coloured um, material, that's where the I, I could see the specks of gold with the jewels loop. Yeah. But uh, anyway, I'll keep panning and see if we can find some bigger pieces. Okay, pan number five, and yeah, li little specks of gold in each pan, but um, not a lot of. Just, just oh, I could see probably two or three specks, and and that's about all. And um, and no bigger specks since that first pan, when I had that, I saw that big speck in the pan. Uh, no, all the rest of it is just super fine stuff. So, but, like I said, when I crush that, the oversize, I might get some bigger pieces out of that. Fingers crossed. Okay guys, see if we can get a big piece of gold out of this pan. No, I can't see any. Just that super fine stuff. Okay, I'll get back to you with another pan guys. Okay. Pan number seven, and the last pan of this fine material. Yeah, so fine gold. Um, not not a like I said, not a lot of fine pieces, but there is fine pieces uh, in each pan. That's all right. Um, it's gold, so keeps us interested. And uh, like I said, this this material is just scraped up off the surface from an area where Greg and Michelle got quite a few um, small pieces of gold, small nuggets. Okay guys, see if I can get, show you a decent piece out of this one, out of this last pan of the fines. Maybe we'll do better out of the oversize when I crush it. I think I can see a couple of little specks of gold just here, out the side of the pan there. But they're really small. Yeah. It all seems to be up here in the black sand, all the little specks of gold, but nothing big. Okay guys, I'll get back to you when I set the crusher up and I'll crush up that oversize. Okay guys, let's crush some rocks.
I'll get back to his barns when I finish cracking. Okay. Pan number one of the crushed material. See how we go with this stuff, guys. See if we can find some bigger gold. If there's going to be bigger gold, I should find it in this material, in this crushed material. I've had to use my black pan because I've got all the all the gold, all the fine specks of gold that's all in the green pan. I've got it back behind us. I'm drying it out so I can um, run the microscope over it and just show you the fine gold. And this is how the old timers used to find the big gold um, rich reefs and that. Uh, they would scrape the surface um, of the ground, pan it out. If they got one, even one speck in their pan, they would start digging deeper and, um, and doing more pans of the area, searching for the reef, for where the gold shed from. Okay, guys. Let's see if I can show you there's a big speck, a big flake. Not seeing anything. Maybe back in here there might be some fine stuff, but um, yeah, no big bits. Oh well, I'll just keep panning. Okay, pan number three of the crushed material. And um, just the odd speck, guys, not much in, in there at all uh, in the pan so far. Just fine specks that I can see under the jeweler's loop. And um, yeah, and not a lot of, just, just a few in each pan. So not looking too good. I was really hoping to see a few decent specks. Maybe in this pan. this pan guys see what we can get out of this one not seeing anything but all the microscopic gold it all sits up the back here in the pan so yeah no big pieces though oh well I'll keep going I've got enough there for another couple of pans Okay, pan number five and the last pan of this crushed material and um, no, not looking very good guys, not looking very good, just a few little specks, so, oh well, that's, that's prospecting but, but um, I've still got two more bags of this material so, um, I'll be I'll be processing that later on. I'll do another video. Because um, the three bags I were taking in, taken from different locations on the patch. So this might be the dud one. Maybe one of the other bags I've got might be full of um, pieces of gold.
Kai. Okay, guys. Is this one going to have the big piece in it for us? A big piece of gold? Oh, the dogs are going crazy. Yeah, no big stuff, guys, unfortunately, but that's prospecting. I'll get back to you at the wrap up, guys. Well, guys, um, yeah, not much to show in that lot. I've um, I've got the other pan over there drying out. But the first pan, the uh, fines, uh, that seemed to have more gold in it than the than the crushed and the crushed um, material. So I'll put some pictures up of um, the gold from under the microscope. Yeah. And um, thanks again, Greg and Michelle, for sending or well, for bringing that material around so I could um, so I could process it and show you guys. Um, the gold that I'm finding, yeah, um, and make make videos out of it, yeah. Um, the atlas. Okay, I've got two of them. I'm sending one. One of these atlases is going to Lindsay. Uh, Lindsay lives in the south, in the southwest of Australia, and um, yeah, I'll be sending one one of these to Lindsay. Lindsay's kind enough to to send me some rocks. He sent me some. Um, I've forgotten the name, but um, Unikite. Lindsay's sending me some big pieces of Unikite. So when I get it, I'll show you guys. I'm planning on cutting them and polishing them up. Yeah, they're a beautiful green, pinkish orange colour. Mm, really nice looking stone. And uh, yeah, so one of those will be going to Lindsay. The other atlas is going to Don. Don from... Uh, what's his name? I can't think of his. He, I can't think of his. Uh, his his um, uh, his site name. Um, oh, anyway, Don's in America, and uh, I'll be sending one of these out to you, Don. Yeah. I can't think of his mind. The name of his mind. I'll put it up here. Yeah, so you can all see it and. Um, you can all go to John uh, to Don's channel and check out his videos. Yeah, uh, I think that's. Oh, I've got a I've got a rock here, another rock that I've cut and polished, and I sent. I'll just show you from here. Here it is. Here, it's a a Brazilian agate, and I've cut it in half. I've polished up both halves. One half I've sent off to Prospecting 101, Mr. Gold. Most of you, most of you people out there know him. Yeah, uh, brilliant, brilliant bloke, yeah, really good. He uh, goes out and finds a lot of gold. So, anyway, I've sent one half off to Mr Gold already. This half, I don't know what I'll do with it. Maybe I'll send it out to one of you guys. Yeah. I'll just give you a bit of a close-up of him. There he is. Brazilian agate. Yeah, they're a really nice um, stone, rock. And they uh, polish up really nice. In the middle there, inside there, there's all little crystals. Yeah, beautiful. Um, that's about all I wanted to say, uh, guys. That's about it. Um, yeah. Uh, I, I will do another bag. I've still got two more bags of Greg and Michelle's materials to uh, process. So I'll probably do one more video processing that material and uh, yeah because um, I've got some more stuff coming I've got some more gold um, sand and stuff coming from from some of you guys so I'll be making more videos on that plus I want to get out out the hills I want to get back out there and do some more prospecting yeah um, that's it guys cheers thanks for watching my videos thanks for subscribing and helping my channel Appreciate you all. Uh, yeah, stay safe, be good. Until the next one, bye for now.